friends, listen, I'm going to talk about five mistakes that people make their first day of boxing and kickboxing. The first mistake that people make is confusing their right from their left. So before you take your first class, make sure you go home and study right, left. And here's how it's gonna get confusing. We'll ask you to stand in the fighting guard. If you're orthodox, you'll be standing with your right leg in the back. So if you're a dummy, right hand, that's orthodox. Or if you're left-handed, flow, come on and stand up. You'll be standing with your left leg in the back and that southpaw, it might feel unnatural. Naturally, you wanna put your strong hand and strong leg in the front and punch with that one first, right? And I know we walk outside like this. No one walks outside like this. So it takes a while to get used to. So I want you to go home, practice standing either orthodox or southpaw, and then from there, practice your punches left from right. Number two, punching with the chin up. Flow. let me see, throw some punches with the chin up. <laughs> now, in boxing, it's very important to keep your chin down. However, sometimes when I tell people to put their chin down, then they do this. All right, that's two down. Just right here, leveled with the eyes. If you're a beginner, I'll know, because your chin will be up here, and it'll be easy for your opponent to land a punch on you while you're throwing your own punches. If you keep your chin down, it'll be harder for them to land a strike. Number three, do not, I repeat, do not hold your breath. It won't make your punches stronger. Actually, it'll gas you out, all right? I see this all the time. Flo, throw a cross and hold your breath. Jab, cross, jab. Then you won't last, okay? You wanna make sure you're sending oxygen to your muscles, so breathe out. You hear the noise that fighters make when they're training? Everybody got sounds like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should watch my classes, I make a lot. When you're punching, you wanna breathe out, and sometimes it's okay to make noise. This way you know you're breathing, it holds you accountable. Flow through across, breathe out. Jab, cross, jab. Just like that, make sure you can hear yourself exhaling upon execution. Number four, flaring elbows. When you're practicing your guard, what you want is your hands up to either side of your chin and then elbows tucked in. This is great. Sometimes we lose that when we're striking. So Flo is gonna start with the jab. This is his punching hand. His opposite hand will be his guard hand. I'm gonna show you a mistake, go. Now pause it, freeze. This is a common beginner mistake, having the elbow flared out while he's throwing a punch. If he does that, I could land a kick, I could slip, land body shots. We don't want that. So this time as he punches, he's gonna protect by locking his elbow into his rib cage as he executes the jab. Go. Try it on the other side, cross. Time, so if you don't wanna look like a noob, Keep those elbows tucked in. The last and final one is looking down or away. Now, if it's your first day, you might feel shy, you might not wanna look your partner straight in the eye when you're striking, but you can always look at their shoulders or chest. Do not look at the shoes because this will actually end up transferring over to other activities that you might be interested, whether it's sparring or hitting the bag. And if it becomes, becomes muscle memory, then when you're fighting, go ahead and throw a few punches looking down. You won't be able to see what's coming at you. Just keep the eyes on the shoulders as you're striking, throw a cross, throw a jab. Now, even when we're going for body shots, you wanna keep your eyes level with the shoulders. A lot of times I'll see people look down when they're going for body shots. A no-no when going to the body and looking away. You want your body to follow the direction of your punch, but not your eyes. Always keep your eyes on your opponent. Who said that? Bruce Lee. All right, let me see, hook. Keep your eyes on your opponent, cross. Keep your eyes on your opponent, hook. A good drill you can practice if you feel like your partner is doing this, maybe you wanna practice at home with a friend, use your hands as a target. Tell them to keep their eyes on the two fingers. 
And then maybe do some defense, roll under. Keep your eyes on my two fingers, roll under. Simple. Check this out, I have a bonus tip for you, but before I give you that bonus, I do want you to honor my hard work. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Now, check out this bonus. Do not say sorry. You don't have to apologize in a boxing gym. So maybe me and Flo are going at it a little bit. Boom, and I kick him, and I'm like, oh. Sorry, Flo, yo, I'm so, so sorry. No, it's cool, let's, let's go again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nine times out of 10, if you go into an authentic gym, your trainer gets hit for a living. It probably felt like, what did that feel like to you? Hurt. Hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, because I'm a fighter. <laughs> but your trainer gets hit for a living, so you don't have to apologize. We actually like it, and we accept mistakes. Even if you're just doing pads or training, don't worry about saying sorry. Give me one, two, three, two. Sorry. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. So if you take out that apology, if you take out the sorry, people will be like, oh, you've done this before. So if you don't want to look like a noob, don't make those first day mistakes. Otherwise, that is all I have for you. Thanks for joining.